Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is another project share for Scrap Diva Designs. This is part of the um, June release. So I have a couple more die sets that I have used and wanted to share with you. So first up, I have this set right here, which is called <clears throat> um, Party Words. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine different ones um this one here that you can't see very well underneath here says make a wish so it's actually three words so you could actually cut that up if you wanted to you know make different wordings out of some of these um, what i like about this set also is that you also get a couple of different fonts like this hooray and this party are both in a, um, a a different font than the rest of them so and you still have um party and hooray in this other font also that the rest of them are out of so I love that so you got the shadow pieces for all of them so I made a bunch of <clears throat> the word die uh, the word sets <laughs> so what I used on these I'm using carousel right now so um, I took some of my black and white zebra striped um, glitter paper that I had in my stash and I used that to cut out the shadow piece and then I cut out the actual words in light pink so there's the make a wish here's the hooray you can see the difference in the font here's happy here's birthday so you know you don't have to have you know happy birthday you could have birthday party or just plain birthday or just plain happy so lots of options with these and like I said with this one make a wish <clears throat> you could just you know cut out the word wish if you wanted to you know and just use it separately so there's some of them and then here are the rest of them and uh, these ones I made a little project with them so I made these cute little um, picks so got rosettes um, out of gold and white in the background and then I have just a little bit of aqua color here to match and then here's the word again layered up um, on the back of it is some that cute little um, you can barely see it in here but it's some of that tiny little um, eyelash type stuff trim and this is in the uh, mint color <clears throat> so there's that I threw in another one of these um, outlines of the stars from the um, star nesting set which I love I have, you can see I have a whole set over here I've been I cut out all kinds of ones I've used the stars on a bunch of different things and then I just keep <laughs> grabbing those outlines and just sticking them in places because they make a great layering piece just to give more interest so anyway there's that and then I tied a cute little bow <clears throat> on the stick and then added a cute little um, heart little um, resin piece up there at the top so there's that one <clears throat> and then these three are smaller so basically the same thing though I didn't use the star layering piece on this just because I didn't have any smaller ones and the bigger one was too big for it so I just left these without it and then I got another little cabochon right there but basically the same so there's the word celebrate Here's this one with just the word party. And then this one with the hooray word. Oh, those turned out cute. You can use word dies to make so many cute little embellishments. So <clears throat> that is my first little share. Okay. And then next I used, <clears throat> sorry, you got it frog in my throat. Next I used the fringed birthday balloons. So what I made with this one so far. So I made a bunch of the fringe balloons. Again I'm using carousel and so a couple of them I have it comes in three sizes. So you get kind of the base piece which you can use separately also if you just want a plain balloon. So you get the you know large medium and small and then the layering pieces with the fringe on them for each one okay so i um, cut out one of each and then some of them a couple of them i just layered two layers on this one i the little one i layered three layers 
Um, and then I took some, you know, this little straight um, trim that I had in my stash. I made it like the balloon strings, put a little um, bow there and a little piece, a uh, chipboard piece from the collection, another sticker piece from the collection up there, popped all up on foam. And so I have my, um, my, my, my biggest balloon, I mounted it on first and I just made it flat on the, um, on the card. And then I took the medium one and kind of laid it on top. And so it's layered with, um, I think one uh, piece of foam. Okay. And then the smallest one, which is on top. Um, so I had to layer it up on two pieces of foam. So that it gives each, you know, the dimension to each layer that I have kind of on, one on top of each other. Okay. And then I put, used the word again from the party words. This one I used celebrate. And then I popped it up too. And this one I had to, to go above them all. I had to use three layers of the foam. I think it turned out really cute. I love the layered <clears throat> um, balloons. And then I just put a little, you know, mat inside to write something on. And then of course my label on the back. So I think that turned out super cute. So that is using the fringed birthday balloon set. <clears throat> and then next up, I used, yay, I finally used it. I know a lot of people jump on this one the first and I loved it. And I decided to go with some other things, even though I, this was probably be my favorite, but I wanted to, you know, make some of the other things that some of the other design team members hadn't made yet. So I saved this kind of till the end. <clears throat> so I finally made it. I did share a picture of one of the pages. Actually, it's the, it was the beginnings of the front cover is what I posted. Anyway, this is the Party Hat mini album. Okay. And I actually did make a mini album out of this one. <clears throat> so it's a little bit different. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so it is a little bit different than the first picture that I posted. I think I added a couple more things on since I posted the first picture. Um, I used this cute little thing that I just um, had in my stash that I just hauled. Um, it says admit one. I just thought that was really cute. So I put that across there. And then this is just all layered up. This is the one piece from the um, 12 by 12 um, pad that had the big tent in the middle. And so I just lined up my um, party hat, you know, over it so it would you know, have all that those pieces in there. So I think that look turned out really cute. And then I have some um, these this blue trim with the gold edging that I hauled from Timu. I got some of that on the bottom. Um, I used this one layering piece right here and popped it up on foam out of the pink. And then I used some of something I haven't used in a long time, which is <clears throat> some of the sequin um, trim. <laughs> I have all the different colors and I haven't used it in forever. So I decided to just kind of, I didn't want, it didn't look good straight. So I kind of just decided just to kind of you know, curve it up and down through there. I've got some flowers. These are scrap with flowers that I've made in the past. I've got a bunch of, um, this is another one of the stars, the nesting stars from this set, star nesting set. So there's the actual star and then a littler um, outline piece. I got doilies back here, gold doilies. I've got ephemera pieces, um, a lot of the tickets from the ticket sheet. <clears throat> Another one of the star outlines, more flowers, um, a chipboard piece from the collection, from the this little stars from the embellishment collection. This is one of the thickers, and then the word this this um, is for, for the clicker <laughs> thickers also. <laughs> um, cute little pink. Or gosh, <laughs> I'm losing it. Uh, green <laughs> heart. Um, from the thicker sheet also. I think it turned out really cute. And what I did on this right here, I was going to share with you guys, rather than having to try and, um, you know, glue down each of this letters, I left this on, I left this word on the acetate piece. And then I just trimmed closely all the way around. And then I just put a little bit of glue underneath a couple of the letters so you couldn't see it. 
and that keeps it all evenly spaced and then like this one it's not even on this you know this part of the embellishment is got hanging off but um that works real well so just just a little tip to share with you guys okay and then i have little seam bindings over here then i attached a cute little garment pin with some beads and a little tool um back here um, behind the um, little pom-pom area, I, I put some black eyelash trim back there. Now, <clears throat> that is sandwiched in between two layers. Also, this ruffle that's hanging out down below, it is sandwiched between two layers also, so you don't see that when you open, you know, whether you look on the front or the back, so. Okay, so then we flip it over. <clears throat> So there you can see for the back side, this is sandwiched in between here so you're not like seeing it, you know, attached right here. Um, so I just have a little square piece right here. This, this die, I think it's heart rectangle from one of Erica's past releases. Some little cabochons. This is stitched, it's up on um, chipboard. Um, a cute little rosette I put up here at the top. It's all layered up. That turned out really cute, so I can put a picture right here. This <clears throat> next page. <coughs> so I got, um, here's that word again from the party words. So this one I used happy day. And then I tucked a little bit of the black trim that I got from Timu underneath there. Um, I have some pom-poms hanging out, pom-pom trim hanging out from the bottom. That is also sandwiched between a couple layers. Okay, and then I use the nesting star set again. And so I have the um, have it up on foam and then layered in pink and then layered in a pat one of the pattern papers. So, and then this part is only attached down underneath here. So I can still stick my photo, you know, here and down underneath there. Here's another little cabochon, some more tickets and chipboard from the collection. This is just was in my stash. I don't remember where I got it. This little zebra is was a brad that I've had in my collection forever. And I cut the little brad pieces off and just use it as an embellishment there because I haven't been able to find any zebras. So anyway, that, that turned out really cute. So then you flip the page. And now we have this side. This side I just used a piece of the, the Larry piece that comes with the set which is right here <coughs> some of the pages i used it on some i didn't um then again i use that trim down here that little trim piece i showed you and it's up on foam also um here you can see from the back my pom-pom trim is sandwiched in between the layers right here i just have uh, again the nesting star and i put this um little um embellishment that I'd made previously and I just attached it there and then I have this little um, piece of um, ribbon right here and you pull this open and then here's two more spots for more pictures so I liked that I think that turned out really pretty love that um, now this this uh, set also comes with this piece right here that you can like It'll cut out like the center of this and it'll have holes in it. I didn't use that on this um, thing at all, but I just wanted to point that out that it came with that. And then it also has like a set of eyes and stuff, which I didn't use that either. Okay, so there's that page. And then on the opposite page, <clears throat> um, I just have it layered again. Um, I use this cute little bow, which is from What's it from? What's it from? What's it from? Okay, now I know what it's from. Okay, this is from the Popsicle shaker set. Okay, so I love that bow. I've made a shaker out of it before with, you know, um, in the little opening there of the bow. Anyway, this is another Brad that was in the same pack that the zebra came with, and so I attached it there because it, this collection has like giraffes and stuff sometimes too. <coughs> I think, anyway. Okay, and then um, here's a cute little um, circus tent that I made and just put some trim this I made a shaker out of this so it's got 
a bunch of the black and white striped um, sequins down there and some little yellow stars. I layered it on top of a pretty little mint colored um, uh, rosette. Um, this is a piece from the collection. And then in here, this is just another one of the um, stars for the nesting set. I just thought this worked well with it, um, <clears throat> with this album, because it wasn't super, uh, this is the largest one that I used for um, all these photo things, photo spots. So this one's um, layered up in the back. Anyway, that just tucks behind there, because this is, again, is only attached down here. So this can just stick right in there. Okay, and then over here on the side, I use some of that pink trim and I put it on the side rather than on the bottom. And it again is sandwiched in between these two layers. So there we go, like that. And you can kind of angle this however you want it, whatever looks cutest. And then on the back page, <clears throat> um, on this piece up here, this time I decided to use that, this piece right here. And what I did was I took a bunch of, um, I have a bunch of crepe paper sheets that it's like, it's like stiffer. It's really fun to make stuff out of because it, it really stays together well. Anyway, I cut like five of them and then I put a brad in it to hold them all together. And then I just been kind of ruffling them up. So I just thought that gave it a cute look. Here's the trim from this side. Another piece of the trim that border piece down there. This one I didn't put up on foam because I used it. It's attached all the way down other than just right here so I can stick my little popsicle in there. Okay, that kind of holds it right there. Got a cute little balloon. That's from Hobby Lobby. This little cabochon in my stash. Here again, this is the, um, this is the bow. This bow comes with this popsicle um, shaker set. <clears throat> okay, so let me pull this out. Now I did so I didn't have this like flipping, flopping back and forth. I did put a little um, uh, Velcro piece back here so that once I you know, want to put it in, I just, this Velcro piece holds the top and then the, the stick is held by that bottom piece there. So um, what I did was, I'm gonna have this layered up a couple times. Okay, and then what I did was the center piece that cuts out, I wanted that to be my pieces for my, um, for my photos and so I attached them again with the brad so I can spin these out and you can see you know the different pictures when I get them added in I have them all you know right here so there can be one two three they could even go on the back if you wanted to I guess but and then you can also put one down in here so there's a place for one two three four without without counting the backs and then you just spin them over they fit right back down in there. There's my little bow. Okay, and then I tuck my little um, stick in there and then I just line that back up and that is attached back to my little Velcro piece. I think it turned out so cute. Of course, just about anything you make with carousel turns out so cute in my opinion. <laughs> so anyway, this is what I have made in the last in a few days with these sets. I will um, have all of Erica's information. This is all of her social media and stuff. Okay. There's her uh, website, scrapdivadesigns.com. I will have all of that linked. Um, be sure if you decide to pick any of these up, use my discount code. It's polka10, P-O-L-K-A-10. That will save you 10% off at checkout. It really helps you out, so be sure to use it. I appreciate all those who do use it. It's, it's very nice of you, and I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I will link all the dies. I'll have you know have all the links, my affiliate links, so they will be easy to find. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Let me know what you think. Um, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you think about it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.